Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to restrict possible usernames. Usernames are used everywhere on the internet. They are what gives users a unique identity for their favorite sites. You need to check the usernames in a database. Here are some simple rules that users have to follow when creating their username. Usernames can only use alphanumeric characters. Only numbers in the username have to be at the end. Only numbers in the username. The only numbers in the username have to be at the end. There can be zero or more of them at the end. User name letters can be lowercase and uppercase. Usernames have to be at least two characters long. A two character username can only use alphabet letters as characters. Change the regex user check to fit the constraints listed above. Okay, this is a big one. Okay, well, I think the first thing that we can see here is that Anything that doesn't begin with a letter, if it begins with a number, it should not match. If it begins with a number, it should not match. So, um, <clears throat> do not match if A through Z. So, I'm going to run the test, see what that does. Oh, it should match this guy. Oh, it's the, uh, the capitalized. So, we need to... Um, make it non-case sensitive. Okay, so we match here. We should not match. We are matching here. We are matching here, even though we shouldn't, because this should be A1. So if it's... <clears throat> okay, so what I'm thinking is, if the last... Yeah, okay, so we're going to create a case situation here. And we're just going to basically look at the last number. So if the last two numbers, it should not match this one. And, but it's not going to match this one because the first number is not A through Z. So we've already got that one. So we want to say if the last numbers, so I'm putting the money sign here for the last numbers, and if they're digits, right? Uh, this just means any digit. So this could be written 0 through 9, uh, but we're going to just use the shorthand for now. And then slash digit oh it needs to be instead of i've got a forward slash i need a or i've got a backslash i need a forward slash um yes okay cool so this is making it so that it's not matching this but it is matching this because the first letter is a through z in there and so this one should not be passing even so this is a false positive regex should match your regex should match regex guru. Okay, so what's happening now is that even though these last two numbers, digits or numbers, it's not matching it because it doesn't, um, it needs to have um, A through Z as, as well in here. So I'm going to create an OR statement and then go uh, A through Z. Um, and we want... The first character can be A through Z, but then we also want all the rest of them to be included. So we make a plus sign here. And then in order for this to be successful, we also want the digits. Because if we just do this, it's going to break this. So we need to go forward slash digit and then allow for as many of them as possible. I think. Let's run the tests. Okay, they passed. So yeah, this is a really, really tough one. I actually um, paused the video for a long time and thought this through really deeply. Um, essentially, this is this is really challenging. Um, this is really the the, the use of, of regular expressions is super powerful because now you think about all these rules that have been built into here in one line of code. It's it's really powerful to be able to write reg regular expressions. Sometimes people spend a few hours just coming up with a really great re regular expression to solve a, a computer programming pro problem. And so it's useful, um, and it's also challenging. Um, so if you got hung up on this one, I wouldn't say don't worry about it too much. I'd say if you get the gist of what we're discussing here, I think that's helpful, and I think it's important to move on past this uh, because this is a really challenging one, and um, there's some mm, less tricky things going on in the future. But thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.